as faculty members of the various colleges of the university. The Council of Deans of the Mindanao State University Main Campus. Once again, let's give a round of applause for the Council of Deans of the Mindanao State University Main Campus. Now, the Assistant Vice Chancellors, Dr. Hasmina Dimana, Assistant Vice Chancellor for Administration and Finance. Dr. Sapsiya Paitao Dungra, Assistant Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, External Units. The Vice Chancellors of the Mindanao State University Main Campus, Attorney Saadudin Alawiya Jr. Vice Chancellor for Administration and Finance. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Dr. Amergan Cabano, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. The Chancellors and Heads of the Integrated MCU Campuses. Dr. Hernando Bagosa, Director, Campus Head, MSU Bataraza Extension, Bataraza, Palawan. Dr. Lorenzo Recoleto Jr., Director, Campus Head, MSU Main, Campus Sindalan Extension, Zamboanga del Norte. Attorney Jamaludin Basar, Head, Superintendent, MSU Maigo, School of Arts and Trades, Maigo, Nanao del Norte. Doctor. Doctor Panandav Magulama, MSU Bo, Gentlemen, the President of the Mindanao State University System, Honorable Attorney Basari Pinakutan Maputano, together with our esteemed commencement speaker. to be led by Professor Muhammad Jihad Makarambon, faculty of the King Faisal Center for Islamic, Arabic, and Asian Studies. And please remain standing for the entry of colors and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be led and conducted by the University Bandmaster Chris Palubus. <laughs> Let us all observe silence as we invoke the divine presence of the Almighty. 
And we thank you for giving us the opportunity and the privilege to physically attend and celebrate the 58th commencement exercises of the Mindanao State University. Ya Allah, before you are these beautiful and humble servants of yours, candidates for graduation who have finished their respective degrees in different fields from our beloved university. We ask you to bless us all here and guide us to make good use of our knowledge and skills. Make us good assets in pursuing peace and justice in our country. Help us hone ourselves to become beautiful beings who see and recognize the needs of the needy and who will appreciate the importance of helping in the community. Grant us the true sense of volunteerism humility and sincerity, and save us all from greed, hypocrisy, arrogance, and from all kinds of ill practices in the exercise of our responsibilities as professionals. Ya Allah, we ask you to bless for us our University President Hassan al-Basri and his family. Bless our University officials and the faculty members who became our second parents and most especially to everyone who has believed in us and has been with us in this journey. Lastly, Ya Allah, we ask you to make this ceremony for us as a rebirth of righteousness and blessings, a rebirth of love, dignity and honor, and a rebirth of welfare and success through your love and accept for us these humble prayers with your mercy, O merciful. Allahumma, inna nas'aluka khayra hadha al-yawm fabhahu wa nasrahu wa nurahu wa barakatahu wa hudahu wa na'udhu bika min shadri ma fihi wa shadri ma ba'dah bi rahmatika ya arham al-rahmin walhamdulillahi rabbil alam Ladies and gentlemen, the entrance of the colors.
as the eighth MSU system president, nothing is more exciting, rewarding, and fulfilling than closing the door on academic year 2021-2020. So the and current. And certainly, with a sense of relief and pride that you, candidates for graduation, Bax Malaya, have, have made a glorious home run. At long last, you really are free. Free from submissions and deadlines, wishes and chance, from worries and debilitating tensions. You have survived the rigors of your respective programs with all your faculties intact. Mabuhay kayo lahat. This moment evokes an essay about the opening and closing of doors by Christopher Moore, which easily brands our work, easily brands or burns itself into the sensitive Frederick's mind and memory. In our lives, we are constantly opening and closing doors. How we open and close doors communicate so much. Our mood, state of mind at the moment, or our intent or purpose, whether malign or well-meaning, or even our personality type. Today, it is my duty to formally close the door on the second semester academic year 2021-2020 for Box Malaya. and to perform a related duty. To raise the curtains on the MSU 50th commencement exercises. In doing this, I experienced something like effervescence, a bubbling up of a feeling of joy for the graduates and their parents. This for the university is the second in-person graduation since pandemic. For my term, it is the first. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, and to this eagerly awaited event, I proudly welcome everyone, honored guests, representing the national government led by our guest of honor represented by the honorable uh, assistant secretary the honorable members of the board of regents chancellors or ceos of the different campuses of the msu system system and campus officials faculty and parents I do not intend to steal the thunder from the commencement speaker, so the rest of this welcome and opening remarks is addressed to the graduates, graduates' parents or families and the community that have been part of their journey. Like Hillary Clinton, I borrow the African problem. It takes a village. This tears message speaks volumes. In a nutshell, it drives home the ultimate idea of the theory of ecology of an individual's growth, propounded by Yuri Brodman-Renner. This theory gives a detail the detailed account of the various factors that attend the child's growth. 
from the home and family, schools attended, spaces in the community that fostered or indeed brought to large to larger factors, specifically culture and, and the time or life. This confluence of factors, for better or for worse, makes up the ecology of a person's growth or development. Again, like Clinton, I believe that nothing is worse than parents bundling up their job as caretakers or nurturers. Then U.S. Secretary of State, she said, if you bundle raising your children, I don't think whatever else you do matters that very much. For doing a great job that is visually seeing your children through college, through these challenging times, I, we, salute you from the heart, parents. Indeed, who can meet parents, parents' love, support, and resolve to raise well, kids to your human? To be more than you can be, as the Roman song goes. We speak of payback time, of payoffs, of returns on parents' investments. But can children ever fully pay back parents' sacrifices? Dear parents, please accept our heartfelt congratulations. Mabuhay ng lahat. Watch Malaya, a standing ovation for your parents' peace. testimony of a pudding ceremony speaker, an alumnus who has just returned to the Philippines with a PhD from the University of Oregon and after a teaching stint at the John Hopkins University. Teachers, and they are here with us, there. Who made sure that their students were not only taught, but also most importantly loved. The kind of love that sees possibilities, love that uplifts, love that corrects, love that dignifies, love that allows students as persons to be free, love that saves. It is not Teacher's Day, but I am asking Baj Malaya to rise again and thank your teachers, loving you that way for keeping the faith, for not abandoning the ship, and for making possible your home run. A round of applause for them. Thank you. And now, I segue to my third task in this program, which is to introduce the commencement speaker and guest of honor of the MSU 58 commencement exercises. Just when people are getting used to having a male official or VIP for the part and thinking that it is a gender role tailored for males, we have the good fortune to get an accomplished, brilliant lady to accept our invitation to grace this occasion as our guest of honor and commencement speaker. There is no ideological message in the pattern. It is probably sheer fortuity. But this is the first time 
since the inception of the Mindanao State University 61 years ago that we are having a lady as commencement speaker. Hence, we can consider this a watershed moment. The appointment of the lady to one of the most important strategic and sensitive offices in the national government, the Department of Budget and Management, is an example of a shattering of the glass ceiling. It is groundbreaking in that her cabinet position places her squarely in a male-dominated sphere. So we can perhaps stop seeing that sector as the exclusive reserve of the Honsos or Tabunas and also of the dominant or majority group in the Christian dominant Philippine society. Proudly Mranao, she brings a stronger, more powerful voice representing Mindanao particularly the Muslim groups, and a broad perspective in that rare field circle at the top of the view. She has served the government in various capacities, the executive, the legislative, and the bank central. A rich experience that has developed in her an intimate understanding of the complex interplay of the different sectors and agencies. She developed her budget and management savvy prior to her appointment as DBM Secretary. As concurrent assistant governor for strategic communication and advocacy and executive offices coordinator, she was key implementer of the Banco Central strategic initiatives designed to bring the central bank closer to the people. An out-of-the-box thinker, she champions inno innovations like financial inclusions and digitalization. She ably steered the execution of major projects in support of the Banco Central Governor's Goals. She also advocated the enactment of the PSP's legislative measures. Her can-do attitude or self-efficacy is always evident in any responsibility she takes on. As DBM Undersecretary during the Duterte administration, she served as the head of the office of the secretary. She directly supervised the department liaison office and budget technical view. In the same capacity, she launched a crusade for a crucial budget reform and was a key mover in the preparation, implementation, and monitoring of the General Appropriations Act. Her agile mind propels her toward other projects or advocacies like implementation of the Green, 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 a budget assistance program for local government units to develop sustainable open spaces. Prior to her DPM skin, she oversaw the enactment of budget laws as the chief of staff to former Senate President Angara and Committee of Finance Chairperson Senator Ligara. After listening to the first sauna of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., one could not fail to see a mind melt, a meeting of the minds, PPBMs and his DBM secretaries. This is discernible in the emphasis given to more prudent management of the fiscal resources as reflected, for example, in the plan right-sizing of the bureaucracy, in the target goal of achieving a high middle income status, 
the modernization of the budget system, the incorporation of sustainability and green principles in government spending, and the promotion of sustainable economic growth through strategic investment in high impact infrastructure and human capital development. There are more. She is a fountainhead of innovative ideas. It is inevitable, not a fortuity this time, that the President recognize her as an asset in his administration. I believe that it is one of his most deliberate and carefully thought, thought, carefully thought of decision to have her on his economic team. Our guest of honor earned her degree in economics from the Far Eastern University, a diploma and MA in development economics from the University of the Philippines. And despite her heavy responsibility and hectic schedule as DBM secretary, is working at her executive master of public administration from the London School of Economics. A heavyweight, a formidable mover and shaker, a top gun in her field with a lot of sterling accomplishment to her name, this lady is. Male technocrats would not find it easy to catch up with her as she hits her strides. And she is one of us, Ambrana. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you our People's Pride. Please join me in warmly welcoming our commencement speaker, TBM Secretary Amina F. Pangandaman. However, however, due to an unforeseen event in the northern part of the country, struck by a natural calamity requiring the utmost attention of the national government, our very own Secretary Mina cannot be with us today, despite her eagerness to witness this moment of joy and glory. But to speak in her behalf is an equally dedicated public servant, a friend, an avid supporter of the MSU system will be representing her. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Assistant Secretary of the Department of Budget and Management, a member of the MSU Board of Regents, the Honorable Achilles Brown. Good afternoon. Before I uh, read the message of Secretary Adina Pangandaman, let me say a few words. Uh, our apologies for Secretary Adina Pangandaman for not coming to your graduation. Actually, uh, Secretary Adina Pangandaman was looking forward and was very eager and excited to come here as your guest speaker. As a matter of fact, uh, when uh, the President invited Secretary Mina Pangandama as, as guest speaker, the original schedule of the MSU graduation was July 28. But Secretary Adina said that uh, if there's a possibility of moving the July 28th uh, graduation to July 29 because uh, the, there was an original cabinet meeting yesterday, uh, July 28. Unfortunately, because of what happened at Region 11, some of the cabinet members went to Abura Region 11, Region 1. So the original schedule of cabinet meeting yesterday was moved this morning. And uh, gusto rin sana umalis ni Secretary Mina sa cabinet meeting just to attend the graduation. Unfortunately, again, the main agenda of the cabinet, which is the first budget of the new administration which we will be submitting to Congress uh, next time. But uh, rest assured, and I'm very sure that one of these days, 
Sekretari Muda Pengendama Pendidikan Komisi Pendidikan To MSU President Basari M. Makupulu, Members of the Board of Regents, University and Board of Regents Secretary, Chancellors, Heads of Campuses, Executive Vice President, Vice Presidents, Vice Chancellors, PMS Director, Deans, other officials of the University, faculty and staff, fellow public servants, parents, our dear graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, and as a It is an honor to be your commencement speaker. I apologize that I cannot be with you today, but I have been looking forward to this as a homecoming of sorts. But duty calls. As you know, I am a Maranao with deep roots from the South. And in all my capacities as a public servant, I always try to give Mindanao, especially the Maranao as a voice. And as the first Muslim budget secretary, I intend to do just that. Let me start with the good news that the DBM has already given 185 million pesos to the, to the MSU Marawi for the ICT modernization of the MSU High School Game Campus. With this budget allocation, I hope we can better equip the students and faculty of the Mindanao State University, Marawi Campus, for the challenges of today, especially amid the rapid digital transform transformation of our economy. And the Marawi and Mindanao have overcome tragic challenges. From the seeds of Marawi to the declaration of martial law in Mindanao, but here we all are stronger and more united. And I vow to continue supporting Marawi and Mindanao to uplift our people from battles that we have to overcome. I will not leave Mindanao to be left behind. To the graduating class of 2022, you are a different breed of graduates. Not only did you have to overcome these particular battles, you had to deal with a global pandemic. And so I applaud each of you for the grit and resilience you have demonstrated to reach this point. As you go forth in your respective paths, may you always give me the now voice in everything you do. Honor your parents for the sacrifices they have made and help of him one another in unity as one graduating class of 2022. At this point, allow me to share the priorities of the economic team in this Marcos administration. First, we aim to reduce the deficit to GDP ratio to 3%. Second, we expect to achieve an upper middle income status. And last, we intend to reduce poverty to single digits. With these goals, we hope to build a better, stronger, and a more inclusive Philippines, one with a strong Mindanao voice. Ito ang pangako ni Presidente Ferdinand Bongo Marcos, isang bagong umaga para sa taong bayan, para sa Mindanao, para sa Pilipinas. Madakil na salamat. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you very much, Honorable Anita Pangandaman, Secretary of the Department of Budget and Management, represented by Honorable Assistant Secretary Aquiles Gerard Bravo. In grateful recognition of her valuable role as commencement speaker in today's ceremony, we request again Honorable Anita Pangandaman, uh, represented by Honorable Assistant Secretary Aquiles Gerard Bravo, to come forward for the presentation of the plaque of appreciation and token. To hand over the plaque and token of appreciation 
I would like to call forward the president of the MEC system, Attorney Basari Limakunda Mapupuno. The president will be assisted by the vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Alma Beroa. Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Amerkan Caballo, and Dr. Anselmo Ampok, the University Registrar, and to read the citation on the plaque of appreciation, we request the presence of the University Secretary and the Secretary to the Board of Regents, Honorable Attorney Shidik N. Abandas. State University Marawi City presents this plaque of appreciation to Honorable Amina F. Pangandaman, Secretary, Department of Budget and Management, in grateful recognition and appreciation of her inspiring presence and the generous true giving of herself, her time and sharing her luminous insights and positive outlook, her strong commitment of support for the Mindanao State University system and as the commencement speaker during the 58th commencement exercises for the second semester academic year 2021 to 2022 with the theme, One MSU Taking the World, the Future. Given this 29th day of July 2022 at the Dimapuro Gymnasium, Mindanao State University main campus in Marawi City. Signed, Professor Alma E. Biroa, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Chairman of the 50th Commencement Exercises, Second Semester Academic Year 2021 to 2022. Signed, Attorney Basari D. Mapupuno, President, 
Mindanao State University System. very much to our commencement speaker. for the overture. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to another highlight of today's ceremony. The awarding of the Academic Excellence Awards the University Leadership Award, and the University Special Award. With pride and honor, let us give a round of applause to our 458 Kung Laude.
let us together honor and take pride as we award the highest Latin honor to deserving students who exemplify academic stamina. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all give a resounding round of applause to our eight summa cum laude. For the awarding, I would like to call forward the MSC System President, Honorable Attorney Basali Pinakuta Mabupino. And the President will be assisted by the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Alma Veroa. Dr. Amitan Cabarro, the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. And Dr. Ansano Ampo, the University Registrar. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the eight Suma Kung Laude. To start with, Mapandi Norain, BS Public Administration, College of Public Affairs. Suma Kung Laude. Akraman Almera B, BS Biology, College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Mauyad Ana Farina S. BS Biology, College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Management, College of Business Administration and Accountancy, Summa Cum Laude. Ako Brigham B. Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Ali Amir Hassan D. AB Islamic Studies, major in Sharia. King Faisal Center for Islamic, Arabic, and Asian Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Summa Cum Laude and Class Salutatorium. Lion Lori 
social sciences and humanities, summa cum laude, and class valedictorian. Congratulations, honorees. Again, let us give a round of applause to our eight Suma Kung Lao. John Maxwell says, Why you lead and the way you lead are important. They define you, your leadership, and ultimately your contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, the awarding of the University Student Leadership Award. Let us give a round of applause to Bakel Lao, the University Student Leadership Awardee, College of Business Administration and Accountancy. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor and privilege to present to you 30 candidates for graduation of the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed in the respective curriculum of the different departments of the college. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. Vice Chancellor, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present to you 19 candidates of the College of Information and Computing Sciences who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed in the different respective curricula of the college. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor and privilege to present to you 106 candidates for graduation at the College of the King Faisal Center for Islamic, Arabic, and Asian Studies. We have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed in the respective curricula of the different departments of the college. <laughs> Mr. Vice Chancellor, it is my completed all the requirements prescribed by the various curricula of the different colleges of the university for your confirmation, sir. Mr. President, I have the honor to present the 2075 graduates in absentia from MSU Iligan Institute Technology this second semester academic year 2021-2022 with the various titles and degrees from the different colleges and academic centers of the university. 52 are summa cum laude. 689 are magna cum laude. And 818 are cum laude. To whom you have conferred their respective degrees during the 52nd commencement of MSU IIT. For your information. the most gracious and the most merciful. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Mr. President, sir, as Chancellor of Mindanao State University, Tawi Tawi College of Technology and Oceanography, it is my honor and privilege to present to you in absentia 331 graduates of MSUTCTO who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed in the different and various curricula of the university. 113 graduated cum laude, 22 graduated magna cum laude, and there is a lone summa cum laude graduate. Their respective degrees, titles, and diplomas have been conferred upon them by Mr. President during the 50th commencement exercises held on July 24, 2022 at Henry Kong Gymnasium, Sanga Sanga, Bumgao, Tawi Tawi. For your information, Mr. President, thank you very much. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Mr. President, I have the honor and privilege to present to you a total of 3,111 graduates from the nation Jensen General Santos, Batch 2020, Batch 2021, and Batch 2022, <laughs> to whom you have conferred their respective degrees and diplomas as prescribed in the various program of the university during our most amazing and historical commencement exercises. For your information, Mr. President. On behalf of the Mindanao State University at Nawan Chancellor and in my capacity as the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Mr. President, may I have the honor and privilege to present to you the 557 MSU Naawan graduates for the academic year 2021-2022 in absentia. They have completed all requirements of their respective courses and were conferred of their respective degrees, titles, certificates, and diplomas last July 18, 2022 at MSU Naawan campus for your confirmation, sir. Assalamu alaikum warawi, honorable members of the Board of Regents, Mr. President, in my capacity as Chancellor of Mindanao State University, Maguindanao, it is with distinct honor to present to you the 524 graduates in absentia from their respective programs for the academic calendar year 2021-2022. Mr. President, for your confirmation, sir. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh and good afternoon to all of us. Honorable President of MSU System, Attorney Vasariti Makota Mapupono, as Chancellor of Mendoza State University Sudu, me I have the distinct honor and privilege to present to you 666 candidates for graduation in absentia whose titles, degrees, and diplomas had already been conferred during the 46th commencement exercises of Mindanao State University Sulu at MSU Sulu Gymnasium for your confirmation. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you 160 candidates for graduation for the academic year 2021-2022 broken down as follows. 20 candidates from the College of Agriculture, 
57 candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences, 28 candidates from the College of Education, 20 candidates from the College of Forestry and Environmental Studies, 9 candidates from the College of Information. One of them is Magna Cum Laude and five of them are Cum Laude. This was confirmed by the President in the Bishop Boog Gymnasium last July 29, 2022. And now for your final confirmation. The President of the Mindanao State University, as campus chief, superintendent of MSU Maigo School of Arts and Trades, located in Maigo Land of the Norte, with the growing student population of 2059 this last semester. It is my distinct honor and privilege to present to you the 282 candidates for graduation with 42 cum laude in absentia who satisfactorily completed all the academic and non-academic requirements prescribed by the curricula of their respective courses or degrees for the second semester of this academic year 2021 to 2022 for your confirmation, Mr. President. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. In my capacity as the campus head, superintendent of MSU Lano del Norte Agricultural College from the heart of Sultan Naga di Maporo Lano del Norte, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present the 163 graduates in absentia from their respective degrees and programs for school year 2021-2022. Honorable President, for your confirmation. Audu Billahi Sami Lalim Mina Shaitani Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Mr. MSU Assistant President, Honorable Sultan Samalai, Attorney Basari Di Makuta Kapupuno, as the Vocational School Superintendent 2 of MSU Lanao National College of Arts and Trades. I have the honor and privilege to present to you the 61 graduates with six cum laude in absentia for the school year 2021-2022 who have satisfactorily completed all the academic and non-academic requirements in their respective curricula. For your confirmation, Sir President. By virtue of the powers vested in me by the Republic of the Philippines and the Mindanao State University Board of Regents, I hereby confirm you as graduates in your respective titles, degrees, certificates, and diplomas with all the rights and privileges, duties, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations.